Hi, Janelle. Hello. Hello. Yes. All right. Alrighty. Let's Cell phone. Okay, good. Cell phone charger's back there if you need one. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. to enjoy the nice weather this evening? Well, actually, I'm going home. Oh, okay. I'm home. I was just here to, uh... Oh, there they are. Yeah, the kids are coming over for dinner today. Oh, how nice. Well, they usually come Friday night, but they're going to see that, you know, that new movie, Oppenheimer? Oh, or Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer. yeah, Okay, sure. they're going to see that, so okay. they're coming, they're switching. I see. Okay. So they tonight, yeah, they're movie. switching. It's great you have a regular dinner too, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah, you know something, they still like to come over. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to figure out how to get my daughter to do that when she's an adult. No. She's know. still young though, right? Yeah, she's yeah. nine, so. Yeah. Right now she still likes me. I know the teenage years are probably gonna be rough, we'll see. Yeah, everybody hates their parents at some point. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's just gotta come at me, so we'll see. I try to be real liberal, you yeah. know? That might be the back, she might, rebel the other way be like you made no rules you didn't tell me what to do it was... you know, no matter what you do you're gonna be wrong this is what I've learned through my own personal experience is that Hello. When... Okay, everybody's looking for that you know something the one time the person doesn't answer the phone right everybody goes nuts sure well it sounds like you're all very connected that's probably why They're like something's wrong this didn't have anything to get the answer where is she she's not answering yeah. her phone well I guess it's better that than the other way exactly yeah, it sounds like you're very connected. How many kids do you have? Two boys. Two boys, okay. Wow, two boys, and they're not off doing their own thing, and... and... Oh, they, uh, they are doing their own thing. Um, yeah. my, the, my youngest one uh, spent the uh, month in Portland with his girlfriend. Sure. They, they both work remotely, so they're oh, able nice. to work remotely, and on the weekends, and yeah. whenever they're off, they're hiking, and camping, and blah, oh, blah, blah. Yeah. Her sister's getting married, so they, he's coming home Friday. Mm-hmm. And the other one's got his own place and his own girlfriend too, but sure. they like to, they still like their old parents. Yeah, see, they stay, they stay close. Because yeah. usually, right, I think, what is it they say when, when boys, they meet a girl and... Oh yeah, the boys go away. They go away, yeah. right? That's usually the common thing. So yeah. that's great that they're still, still around. And yeah, working remotely, can, it can be so great. I mean, I, when I'm not doing this, I work in tech and I work from home. Yeah. And it's, it's. I mean, there's times where if I want a road trip, I'll, you know, I was in Atlanta, you know, six months ago and just doing work from the hotel room and then yeah. go out and explore the city, which is really wonderful. So. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be able to do that. Well, they've been doing that. This is their, I think, third summer that they spent a month somewhere. Oh, that's great. And yeah. then they do, yeah. Yeah, to me it makes sense. You know, we don't need the office if it's something you can do from remote. That, and I work in tech, so my whole job was making it to where people yeah. could work remotely. So, Well, and as far as those, my two are concerned, you know, before they have kids and then you get tied down, then it's not as easy exactly. because they have to be in school. They have yeah. to be, you know, it's, so before they settle into all that business, exactly. they should... They should live a little. Yeah, get out, see the world, go, yeah. go around, and that's exactly right. Because kids really do, as you know, they tie you down. Yeah, it impacts you. I mean, yeah. you know, you're not as you're not a free agent anymore. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and you're happy for that. You'd never give them up. I mean, you'd never trade your daughter for all the freedom in the world. But, that's yeah. But that's it's it. different. <laughs> exactly. No, that's what I tell people. That's that's the best and worst part of, of parenting is that. You give up anything for your kid, you and you don't even think about it. You, don't oh, even, you yeah. wouldn't, you wouldn't have it any other way. No, right. They'll keep you up all night, and you'll be miserable wreck. But you see them sleeping peacefully, and you're just like, it's, it was. Well, worth that it. was worth it. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it goes. Absolutely. Yep. I, I can't even count the amount of times when I'd be starving, hungry, but feeding my baby first, and yeah, not even thinking twice about it. I oh no. You know. Yeah, they they like you said they come first automatically. Yeah. You don't even have to think about it. Yeah, this is exactly why I tell people not to have kids as long as you can. <laughs> well, you're, you're gonna give everything up for them. Well, and you know something, and you're gonna have to have something to give. Exactly. It's you know it's not it's not easy when you it's not easy when you're struggling. That's very true. That's very true. It's definitely not easy. But you know, I've always I've looked at like. 
because this is there's a thing with a more gen, modern generations now are waiting to have children they're like I want to be more established I want to have more things in place but that's literally this is the only time in society as a species that we've ever done that yeah we've never thought about it we've never planned it people just had kids willy-nilly and yeah. that's just how we've gone about it and we've always made do but I, there is something to it and you're right honestly if I like if I had gotten a say in it I would have waited until now to yeah. have a kid because now I'm very well established but I was in my mid twenties and I was very much not established. But ha that's what gave me the motivation to pursue sure. the career and to, yeah. to upgrade what I was doing. And I don't think I would have if that wasn't the case. Well, you know, sometimes if you wait, it doesn't happen. I mean, it's on the girl end of it. You that's know? true. You keep waiting, you keep waiting, you keep thinking, oh, you know, you'll just go off the pill and I'll get pregnant. Right. Yeah, it's not always that easy. That that pill really reeks wreaks a lot of damage, wreaks a lot of havoc yeah. on the body. Yeah, well, and you don't, hard. and you, and unless you've been pregnant, tried to get pregnant, you don't know if you can even get pregnant. Exactly. I mean, you know, so yeah. e either way, you yeah. know, you got to figure out what works best for you That's and your partner. That's very true. That's very true. I don't think yeah. there's one solid formula. Yeah. I'm, you know, I would love to have more kids. That's where I want to go, but it's yeah. like, it's a two party system yes. and getting, getting the other party to like me yeah. has been the problem. But, yeah. um, you know, it, that's the one I'll say nice thing about being a guy is I've got, I've got a longer runway. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And that, and that's huge. Yeah. So who knows? We'll see. I'm Mexican. I only have one daughter. My grandma's like, that's eight too, too little. You need nine <laughs> <laughs> double digits over here. Oh boy. <laughs> I said, yeah, she wants uh, to pay for it. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, double digits. You'll be working 24-7. Right, exactly. You know, it's not so bad when they're little. Yeah. But when they get older and they start needing things. Right. And, Interesting. Well, yeah, and since well. and since you're the tech person, you know uh -huh. everything is going to get the tech stuff and yeah. of it will initially be more expensive. It's going to cost, you oh, know, yeah. they're going to need the laptops, the oh, yeah. this, the that, the phone, the uh -huh. gab phone, the <laughs> God only knows what they need. Tablets, devices, yes. uh, video games. Oh yeah, my yeah. daughter has all of it, and yeah. she's very much. Yeah, and it never ends. That's very true because they design it to break down every five years. So. And then just wait until high school or college. Oh gosh, oh, I'm not ready for it. I know yeah. I'm not. But I mean, that's what I mean. It's like it's easy to say have a bunch of them. Yeah. But better a job well done with one or two. Sure. <laughs> than, a, than a hot mess with six of them. That's a good point. I figure if it's like six of them, you're like playing your odds that they'll turn. Yeah. Like you're like, okay, I'm gonna have six. Two or three are gonna be okay. The other yeah. two or three, rap yeah. stallion. And I know how I was, so it's. I think I might have to play the odds. <laughs> <laughs> Just I know I, I gave my mom a lot of gray hair, so oh. she. Uh, I, I I'm due. I've got it coming my way. I know. Well, you do get it back. That's for sure. That's yeah. That's what I hear. So no grandkids yet? Your sons are... No, they're, neither, they're... Okay, they both intend on marrying... Okay, in theory, uh -huh. they want to marry the girls they're with. Okay. They've been together for years. Okay. We love them. They love us. They're That's great. Yeah. beautiful, wonderful, the best... I would be happy to have them as daughter-in-laws. Okay. But so far, no one's popped a question, I and see. no one's in a rush to get pregnant. So sure. there you have it. Okay. <laughs> We're at a standstill. I get it. Yeah, it's just a waiting game. It's yeah, so, you know, game. and they should do what they want. It's not yeah. not my not my place. They absolutely. should do what they want. Yeah, absolutely. They're grown men. They can figure it out. <laughs> That's right. That's not your problem now. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, no. Because, That's you know, true. sometimes you might say, well, you should have them now. You should have them. You know, I'm not giving those opinions. That's great. I'm not, no. Sure, sure, and that and that can be that way. It can be, uh, you know. Again, my my grandma, my family was, it was I was the first one to finish high school and not have a kid, you know. And they were like, well, since when does this happen? Like, yeah, what do right. you do? So it was, you know, it's always been that. Like, well, get more, get on the way. There's, you know, your sister has one or two already. Like, where's the rest of them? Uh, but I think, yeah, getting established and all of that can definitely help make it better. So, you know, just you want to be able to house and clothe and feed yourselves. You don't have to go on fancy vacations and yeah. drive fancy cars, but if you can just cover the basics, that's all a kid needs. 
That's very true. The basics and the love of yeah, the parents. That's true. If you spend all, all your time working and being away to get them all the nice stuff, then it's Well, and they don't work. know. They don't know that this costs five ninety nine or this costs fifty ninety nine. They true. they don't know that. Yeah. So yeah, you don't have to make yourself crazy with that kind of stuff. That's very true. That's very true. It's more the more the contents of the people than it is the oh, contents absolutely. of the house. There wasn't a lot of extra money, but you know we had our Barbie dolls. We had our, we had our nice we had our nice Easter dresses and go. our Christmas dresses and our yeah. I mean we were fine with that. Yeah. You know we thought we thought we had a great life. <laughs> we didn't know. You know. <laughs> well, I think that's exactly it. It's a, it's the perception of it. It's more it's more the how peaceful was it and how yeah. much did you enjoy? Did you have those moments? You know those can matter. Those do matter. I think a lot more. So, what advice would you give when you're when you say one of them has popped the question? They got a kid on the way. What what's something you would want them to to take from from your experience? What would you say? Okay, say it say it again. Tell me. In. Sure. What would you say? Like, say one of your sons is getting ready to have a kid. What's something you would advice you would pass down? If they wanted to get married and have a child, what advice would I give them? Yeah. Say the baby's on the way. You got nine months. Clock's ticking. Fasten your seat belts. <laughs> <laughs> Get all the rest you can. That's there you go. Get all the sleep you can. That's really Take it. a deep breath. Yeah. <laughs> and just go with it. Go with it. That's it. It's you know something? It's always harder than you think. Ah, that's a when really... they're when they're little and you think, oh look at this cute little baby. When they start screaming, you know. Yes. When yeah. they start screaming and you've done everything except tear your own head off. Yeah. You don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Right. Or you wake up at 2:30 in the morning to change a diaper, and as soon as you get that new diaper here, you hear that. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. fine. And, and then, then you got to get up and go to work in the morning. Yep. Right. You wake up at six. Yeah. Yep. Many a times, or you'd be in the middle of changing the second diaper, and the baby farts, and you've got. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Been there many a time. Or here, this is my favorite one. You're all ready to go out, uh -huh. and then they poop. Oh, yeah. You're on your way out the door. You've yeah. made it to the door. Right. And With now, all stuff. what's that smell? Oh my got God! It, yeah. Everything's got to come off. Yeah. Everything's got to be washed. Mm -hmm. And if it's Chicago, if it's winter, you've got to. Well, that's layers. what I was thinking of in winter because yeah. it's summer. Okay, fine. So you just. Yeah. But in winter, then all the. Oh my yeah. God. Oh yeah. That is. You gotta have a, a big piece of patience. <laughs> yep, and just to be to be out there, you know, working a car seat in the middle of winter uh, when you're you're freezing your butt off out there, trying to buckle in a kid that does not want to be buckled. No, and they're fighting you. They're fighting arching the their back and they're screaming <laughs> and kicking. And, you know, uh, you got a fist in the nose. It's like, yep. oh, you're lucky I love you because you're lucky. exactly. <laughs> we're gonna find you in spring. <laughs> exactly. But you know something, seriously, I would I would tell them, that, you know something, it, you're going to get frustrated, you're going to get impatient, and that's just the way it is. Yeah. But don't be afraid to ask for help. Oh, if you yeah. need a night off, or you need someone to come over and sit with that kid so you can go out and have whatever. Sure. Call me, call somebody. Don't, don't try to be a hero and do it on your own. Yeah. You, you have people around you that are willing to help you, take advantage of them. That's amazing. It's, I think that just that alone, it's because it's the community, it's the family that raises the family. It's the village. It does take a village, like they say, right? Yeah. It, it's never just a couple. It's never been that way. It used to be we were tribal. We were all living together, oh, living sure. communally. We we're all helping each other out. That's that's how we made it to where we are now. So that's something we're just built that way. Yeah, and nowadays it's hard because people move. They move to different parts of the world, different yeah. parts of the city, country. Yeah. yeah. And you don't have that. You know, you don't have grandma exactly. to take care of the baby, so you can run out and go see a movie or. Right. You know, babysitters are can be expensive. Yes, they can. When you're thinking about going to the movies and maybe out for a little something to eat, and then you got to pay a babysitter on top of it, then you got to get her home. Yeah. Oh, geez. You know, but so yeah, use your family if they're willing to help you. Use them. That's, and that's exactly it. Yeah, if they're willing to. But that sounds like you are, so there you go. That's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, we have a running joke that is because I'm a nanny. Okay, I am a nanny, uh -huh. and I was just coming from. Oh, okay. the, the little girl I nanny for, she lives there. Uh huh. So I've been out for two weeks. I tore my rotator cuff and my oh. biceps. I've been having surgery. Oh, this yeah, is the yeah. first time in ten years I haven't seen her every day. Oh wow. Oh, so wow. so I have to go see her because she's sure. like, like she's going away for sleepover camp. She uh -huh. goes, I have to see you, Nana. I haven't uh -huh. seen you for so long. Yeah. <laughs> she uh -huh. gave me her stuffed animal so I could sleep with uh -huh. it to comfort me. Oh, that's so And nice. I'll bring it back wow. when I see her next week. But yeah, so you know that kids, that's all kids want. They just, yeah. you know, they want the attention and, and yeah, so yeah, it's already, I'm you're already the established babysitter. <laughs> right, you're a pro. You're, yeah. you're ready for I'm it. a professional. Exactly, okay? yeah. There's no kid that's going to get me to bite <laughs> my own tail. <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. So you've been a nanny for this girl her uh, whole life, well, basically? Her, or? Well, no, before, no, you know something? I worked in a in an office, you know, in the accounting office. Uh huh. And then when I had my own kids, because I had them later. Sure. In life. So then when I had my kids, I didn't want to work. I worked part time in, in the accounting office. Mm -hmm. And then when the business closed down, I needed a job that I could still take my own kids to school. Sure. And still be home with my own kids to fix some dinner, do homework, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Well, that was when I first got a part time nanny job. The hours were perfect. Sure. I could take my kids to school. They were, I was done early in the, early enough in the afternoon mm -hmm. where I could, you know, get my kids, make them dinner, do, you know, homework, blah, blah, blah. So that's how I got into the nanny thing. I just needed something that I could work around my kids' schedule. Sure. And then, of course, well, now they're older. Now it doesn't, it doesn't matter anymore. But right. for those first few years, you know, until you get them into high school where they can then travel back and forth by themselves. Right. Yeah. As long as they're in grammar school, somebody has to pick them up. Somebody has to take them. They can't. Right go by themselves. Right, it's very true, yeah. I mean, I guess they can, but I didn't feel comfortable with that. Right, I certainly did, but... The... No, no I, I don't feel comfortable with that. Oh, yeah. No, I had that conversation with my guy was a latchkey kid. I would take the bus home and unlock the door. Oh, I wouldn't yeah. see, you know, and that was at like seven or eight years old. But right. my daughter, she's nine, and I'm like, there's no way I could... No, there's no, there's no way. way. I couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. you know, and my, and my husband is retired uh, from the fire department, so mm -hmm. he, you know, they work 24 hours, then they're yeah. off for 48. So right. between his schedule and my schedule, there was always somebody home. Sure, which is good. You know, to take care of the kids. Yeah, and that's yeah, so, so important. so it worked out. I mean, it worked, yeah. out, it worked out great. Yeah. And once you, once you, they were older, you said, I'm, I'm done with going to the office, I'd rather, rather well, not. Well, you know something, I, I was done with the office thing, because uh -huh. once I started doing the nanny thing, you're your own boss. Yeah. I mean, of course, the parents are the boss. Right. Because the parents are going to tell you what they want you to do. Mm hmm And so if you have like-minded parents that you're all on the same page, they're right. gone all day. You don't have anybody looking over your shoulder. Sure. You don't have anyone bothering you. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and the kids are ha the kid is happy and she loves to see you and she's sad when you go, she's at the door when you come, there's like, okay, well, yeah. what's, you know, no problem. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's, yeah, everything's been good. That yeah, and then, sense. you know, you get the whole nanny, you, then you get to know all the other nannies and au pairs in the area, and then you guys hang out with the kids that are the same <laughs> age, and, I mean, it's a whole, it's, it's, it's nice. Yeah, it sounds like it's a community in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think that's great. I, yeah, and I would, I could see that being really, what's the word, rewarding. Like you get something out of it, you know, dealing with kids, being with kids all day. And yeah, and you meet some other nice yeah. women and, you know, that are all in the same place and trade secrets. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, what good. do you do when, I'll try this. Yeah. Oh, man, that worked. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's got to be super helpful. And then you probably learn some tips to take home and try on your own and say, you know, okay, it, this... You know something? If you're willing to listen, people always have yeah. something to say. That, I agree. That's why I love doing this. Exactly that. I never know who's going to get in the car or what they yeah. do. And, and I'm always picking their brains just to find out life, society, what we're doing. And, you know, what's, what's all yeah. of this? I think it's great. Well, I've had an overall really good experience. As a matter of fact, I got this job by a referral. I worked here in Edgebrook. I did the nanny thing. Uh -huh. But... It was a lo very long and boring story, but it was a referral from from a, a mom here that I met wow. that I got this job for 10 years. Oh, wow. So, that's yeah, you, you know, you get to meet people, you know people, you never know how that, what door is going to open for you. Yeah, that's very true. You know, 
and now a part-time thing is perfect for me. I get to do a little something. Yeah. Right, I imagine your husband's retired. Oh, probably, he retired at 55. Right, so there you go. So right, with the pen, like you don't need to work now. It's kind no. of more of a, what do you want to do? And, and this kind of fills a little. Yeah, it's a little part-time thing, a few extra dollars. and. Yeah. You can never cry at a few extra dollars. Exactly, that's very true. Plus, you're right here by Super Dog, so oh, I, I, I yeah. imagine that uh, if I was you, all my money would go there. Oh. You know uh, something? Uh huh. A moment on the lips, uh, a lifetime on the hips. That's very no, true. thank you, Mister. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> you have that. That's so. I, I totally get you. I do. Oh yeah. I've been. Um, working that out I used to be a much larger guy about 110 pounds heavier wow. and so the way I the way I figured it out was to, to find the times when I could and couldn't and to create the structure to be like okay you know I've, I've, got, I've got the room for it I'll, I'll just skip this meal or skip that whatever just yeah. finding the right nutritional balance but I'm a very big nerd for like how all that science and chemistry for food works which is why I'm after I drop you off I'm going to <laughs> You know what I love there? Oh. Their onion chips. Did you ever have those? I always get onion chips. <gasps> are, always. Those yeah, are so sinful. Yes. They are sinful. Yeah. yeah. The onion chips and a chocolate malt. That's my order. So. Well, I'm not the chocolate malt. You can keep, but huh. give me the uh, give me the onion chips. Uh huh. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah, and I'd never even like known about them. And then a friend of mine was like, "You've ever been to Super?" I was like, "No." He's like, "You gotta go. Let's go." Yeah, you gotta go. Yeah, and so we went. I was like, "Oh, this is super!" And it's the old-fashioned drive-through. I took my daughter to where you drive in. They bring the food out. Yeah. We hung out. We watched a little thing on on the. I, I put her, like a phone mm -hmm. here. And we just watched the movie and ate French fries, and it was great. Yeah, that's real fun. Yeah, that's fun. All right, so here we are. Is it here or around the corner? Uh, around, around the corner, oh. yeah. The car might start blaring at you, but we'll see. Oh, because oh, because I took it off yeah, too yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. It might. We'll see. Okay. All right. All right. Thank so you. nice talking. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. Have a great all right, day. Bye -bye. Thank you. Got all my stuff out of here. Yep. All right. Cheers.